Today we're going to be taking a look at the Optica 500 slash 1000 millimeter SL1 digital SLR camera lens. It's a 500 millimeter adjustable aperture starting at f8 or higher with a teleconverter to go to 1000 millimeters. So let's open this up and see what it looks like. All right, let's get this box open. Got a lot of stuff in here. It's like first we have here a lens cap thingy I will probably never use. We have the T-mount for a Canon. That's the kind of camera I have, so that's the kind of mount that I ordered it with. We have a wireless controller. Circuit City, I don't know if you guys remember them from back in the day. Looks like we got a little cleaning kit. Uh, let's see what's all in this cleaning kit. Oh, we got the duster. We got some tissue paper for lens cleaning. It's kind of nice. A couple different size microfiber cloths. Can always have those, never have too many. We got a little spray bottle. We can put some lens cleaning solution in. Um, this looks like a lens brush. Then we got a lens cleaning pen. We got the little foam end. Then we got another little brush on there. Not too bad for a little kit. Then in here we got our two times teleconverter. Looks like we got a little lens hood included. 67 millimeter UV filter. UV filters I still think are pretty much just for protection for the lens um, and then here we go we got our 500 millimeter f8 lens here decent weight to it pouch is nice synthetic leather leather pleather whatever you call it these days it's actually kind of a nice little case and then here we got it another microfiber cloth And we got our lens. Relatively smooth focusing. Little bit of play, not too terrible. Adjustable aperture ring. This just manually changes your aperture. I'm gonna try and get that in there. Not bad, feels all right. Looks to be a coated lens, real glass. T-threads. Let's see how this mounts onto the T-ring. Metal, it's pretty thick. It's actually a bit bigger than the other one I have. Weight-wise, it's actually heavier. So we'll thread this on. It does have an alignment ring. A little red dot showing to line it up. There you have it. Now we got a mount here that we can move and help balance our camera lens to keep it more stable on our tripod. Lockdown ring seems to work. All right, well, let's go out and try this thing out and see how it works. So now that we've had it unboxed, let's talk a little bit about the lens itself. It's cheap, price point wise. You're not gonna find a telephoto lens any cheaper than this. Does it work? Yes. Is it great? No. So for someone that just wants to experiment and has no experience with using a telephoto lens for wildlife photography or astrophotography, this is a perfect investment to get your feet wet and see if you actually enjoy using it. This would not be good for sports photography as it does not have an autofocus feature. So you're not going to be able to keep up with the action. With an entry level lens like this, the optics are not going to be great. So I would not recommend this for a full frame camera. 
a crop sensor camera will help reduce the amount of vignetting on the photos. There is also no image stabilization, so handheld shooting will be difficult. A tripod is almost a must with this lens. I have found this lens can perform quite well for astrophotography with a crop sensor camera. For the investment amount, this lens is a great purchase if you are interested in pursuing astrophotography. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.